you know, guys, today I thought I could take it slow, take it easy, do some calculations for the university, just do some stuff, relax, chill out, because it's a national holiday in Switzerland and Germany and probably everywhere, I'm, I'm not sure. But no, apparently Wargaming decided to release a new tank to the super test, the Object 752. What? <laughs> I am going to skip over the jokes about the Halloween event being cancelled and we suddenly have a new premium tank like a day afterwards. Uh, excuse me, not a premium tank, obviously not a new tank afterwards. I'm going to gloss over those <laughs> words right there. Because most likely it won't be a premium tank. Because this fellow over here, the Object 752, will be a tier 9 heavy tank. And as you might saw already from its awkward turret shape and from this bolt over here, this is a tank with an oscillating turret. This, this turret will be oscillating. It will be like just no from the T-54E1 or the French vehicles. So, I guess let's have a look at the Object 752 and see what Wargaming itself has to say about this tank. Today, the Soviet Tier 9 heavy tank Object 752 has entered or entering the super test. Uh, is entering the super test, there we go. The main features of the machine are an oscillating turret and a drum cannon. So it's official, we now finally have our first high tiered drum or out, no, not out reload, just reloader tank. Like the, op, like the 50B, like the 5120, all those tank drum reloader tank. This is a typical combination for a Soviet tank. The drum itself can be, classi be classified as fast. Three shells reloading between them 2.75 seconds. The entire drum reloads in 21.8 seconds. The accuracy of the gun is 0 0.4 at 100 meters. The aim time is 3 seconds. A standard armor pierce and projectile pierces 256 millimeters of armor and a special, special sub-caliber projectile penetrates through 318 millimeters. And lastly, the shell damage is 440. And fuel range 380. Wow, <laughs> what? <laughs> First of all, I don't know what is special about the subcaliber round because it deals the same amount of damage. You know, subcaliber could have done less damage, who knows, you know, might be an option. But that's a spicy outer loader. Like, that's decent if you think about it. It has 1320 clip potential. In just 2.75, um, free, is it free? No, it's 5.5 5 seconds, if I'm not mistaken. My goodness gracious, my, my memory today is absolutely boned. I'm blaming the sickness. Times to 5.5 seconds, yeah. Because I'm not counting the first shot being reloaded. So that is pretty heavy if you think about it, at least in my personal opinion. You have 1,300 damage in 5.5 seconds. That That's a spicy meatball. That's a spicy... Russian vodka, in my opinion. And I'm a little bit confused as to say the auto loader reloading time is 26.2 seconds, but in the text they are calling um, it a 21.8 seconds reload time, so I'm a little bit on the fence about this one right there. We might have to keep an eye out for that. Armor of the tank. Correspondence to the class, the frontal projection, uh, protection of the turret reaches 330 millimeter, which is a lot, and the hull up to 180 millimeters. However, it should be remembered that the frontal plate of the turret covers the weakly armored swinging part, so it's better to fight at an average distance. The da dynamic characteristics will be help to maintain it. The maximum speed of 50 kph and the thrust to weight ratio, the power to weight ratio of 17.4 HP per ton. The gun's dispersion angle of minus 8 degrees will you allow to play from the terrain. So that is pretty decent if you think about it. And if the upper front plate really is 180 millimeter homogeneous, that is tough. That is tough as nails, I would say. Sure, not over here, but everything above would be very, very tough indeed. It's kind of hard to say what exactly they meant with this plate. Probably behind here, it's very, very weak if you're not using 8 degrees of gun depression but I'm not entirely sure about that. So at least it looks like it has cupolas. Let's hope that at least the right-hand cupola is not that hard, or at least one of those, because they are rather big. So we have at least a weak spot at the turret. Probably will be even, I think. It's actually very big if I'm just looking at the pictures. Most likely the left cupola, which is a tad smaller from the looks. It's, it's hard to tell. 
will be weaker. But um, because the right hand has this additional armor piece over here and here, which could add um, spaced, spaced armor to the Object 752's armor. Lastly, the Object 752 combines the aggressiveness of Soviet tanks and French caution. Dynamic allows him to rush to desired positions in the forefront and firepower, quickly inflicting great damage due to the drum. However, later it will be necessary to wait out the drum charging somewhere, not forgetting to hide the weakly armored zones. The key to an effective game in a tank is timely reaction in the situation of a battlefield, as well as understanding and using its strengths. So now let's just have a quick look at the real stats of this vehicle. Again, we already mentioned 440 Alpha is pretty nifty. 256 millimeters of penetration on their standard rounds is also pretty nifty. I'm not sure exactly if this was a typo in the text in general, because here again we say 21.8, but it is 26.2 seconds. So I'm going to go from this stat over here. The interclip 5.5 for the whole clip, free shots in the clip again it's it's heavy in two clips you can kill somebody which is pretty darn heavy in my personal opinion but hmm, i'm a little bit concerned like i know there are, those are super test stats this tank is not final yet so there are a lot of things being going to be changed most likely but still it it, it sounds heavy like it genuinely sounds heavy that this tank has um, this 1400 um, clip, 1420 clip in 5.5 seconds and um, still uh, not that long of a reload time I'd say. it's Again it's, it's kind of hard to completely um, judge the vehicle by that. 0 0.4 accuracy obviously is trash but then again it's it's probably to compensate for this vehicle. Also, something which I just noticed, the tank is very, very high above the ground, which means that you will have a big chance to just ricochet off this vehicle. It all, like when you hit the sides. It also looks like the, the whole sides are slightly curved. So now we have this plate, which is curved like this, and but then it goes down like this again, making it probably something like a 907 side or, well, not like a, a 7 or... Um, 275, 257, is it 257? Damn it, I actually forgot the name of this vehicle now. Gosh darn it. 257, which is very, very bouncy and trollish side armor. But it w it looks just from those pictures that it will be slightly trollish, especially on this one right here. You can see how it goes down. It's very um, smooth going down. So it's like... Maybe it will be also rather bounce into the sides. The turn to the traverse is rather slow, as I can attest from the Royal Panzer, which is a bad tank, by the way. And um, but it's understandable for a heavy tank. Then we have the gun elevation arcs, which are minus eight and plus eleven point seven. Eleven point seven is not that good, but it's workable. It's not as trash as what we have on the Manticore, which is just plus eight. And trust me, there it is a huge, huge issue. But minus 8 is actually very comfortable to use and probably won't be restricted to just the front but also the sides. So that's good. 30 rounds sounds a little bit on, a, on the low side if I compare it to the IS-4, but okay. And now the mobility. This is something which personally surprises me. Like 50 kph with 17.4 HP per ton ratio is abnormally good. Plus 32 degrees per second. We already talked about the armor now quite a bit. I have to say it, it looks formidable. I'm looking forward to when this tank will be introduced to the test server so we can have a look at the armor. Just from the from my personal experience and from the papers in general, it looks pretty um, sophisticated and pretty strong. And the fuel range is acceptable for a tank of this caliber because, again, with rations, with... Um, optics and uh, brothers and arms crew you get this tank to 445 meters of fuel range and you can enhance it with an additional cruise skill or something so it's i i have a little bit of a trouble to put this tank into somewhere because i think it looks strong just from the paper stats and i know 
things will be changing, most likely. It looks still rather strong, maybe even a bit too strong. But we will have to see when it is on the test server, when we can have a look at the armor model, because the armor model may or may not break this tank into the OP class or the balance class. Plus, I still am confused what exactly is going on with the entire lo drum load, 21.8 seconds or the 26.2 seconds, because 21 seconds, that would be a very spicy meatball. That would be a very, 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 very tough as nails vodka. But yeah, what do you think about the Object 752? Again, sorry for sounding stupid, I'm under the weather, I'm still a little bit sick. But let me know in the comment section below what you think about this vehicle and I'd say I'll talk to you all later in a different video. Feel free to subscribe, feel free to share and cheers guys! Yeah.